everyone tell us and this video is a video announcement to say that i am officially joining flyquest as a streamer slash content creator this has been a couple of months in the making i think we first started talking about it sometime around december and it wasn't until a little bit into early 2023 that we finally got it finalized and everything and then just ironing out the details and everything that went on with that and so I know it might seem a little bit strange that it's just being announced now and spring season is basically over, but in a couple of months in the making and now it has finally happened. I think some people might see the FlyQuest brand and obviously my image as being somewhat having a lot of polarity. And this is, I think, mostly because FlyQuest in North America is a brand as perceived I think in my mind, at least, as probably one of the most positive brands, right? From everything that they end up doing with the positivity surrounding like the planting of trees to all of the inclusivity to the just general outreach that, you know, FlyQuest has as a brand. I think from the outside looking in, especially if someone doesn't really pay attention to a lot of the stuff going on with me, I think that I would completely agree with you. Some people might remember that last summer I stepped away for almost two months and it reached a point where I almost didn't return to streaming. I ended up making a post on Twitter that my mental health and a lot of other stuff going on with me was just at a complete breaking point from all of the co-streaming and the live viewing as well as the experience that I ended up having that winter. And it all just really reached a breaking point and I really realized that I needed to just step away. There was a lot of stuff that obviously went on. I've been in therapy now for probably about a year and this is... The most consistent that I've ever been for me as at least in my adult life a lot of people know my backstory and if you don't there's lots of YouTube videos there's even like interviews on YouTube and stuff that talk about it and then it was this past worlds where I ended up coming back and as worlds was actually going on some of my doctors ended up saying you know we think that you're undiagnosed autistic and for the first time in my adult life, it felt like something just sort of maybe was going to make sense. Just before Worlds ended, the full diagnostic testing started in Korea, and it lasted about two months. And during that time period, I probably did every single clinical test that you could ever do for one's mental diagnoses. And it was with a very large team of doctors and therapists and everyone. And I just wanted to get to the bottom of what is going on with me and what actually can I finally get an answer for. And at the end of it all, I ended up finding out that I was undiagnosed autistic. And I also got a lot of other answers and a lot of other confirmations that, you know, I had been waiting on and things that I believed about myself um, for basically my entire life. And at that point, not only did it give me answers, it let me finally understand why I feel so alien and different with how I perceive things, feel about things, and almost react to things. And one of the things with me is that it was always trial and error in that I always felt like I had to make mistakes or almost ruin things in order to see the responses and reactions from others in order to basically take a step back and adjust. And I never really thought anything of it. I just thought like this is the growing pains of life or this is what's going on. But anyways, throughout my life, there were numerous points where people that were extremely important to me and meant basically the world to me, uh, I would end up noticing that, you know, my behavior would end up affecting them in some negative ways that I couldn't totally understand and I couldn't reason or, you know, make any sort of logic or sense of. And that really got to me and I never could explain it. And getting the diagnosis was obviously very important to finally being able to understand why my perception on certain things is just different. And when you're aware of something and you finally have an answer, it feels very empowering to be able to understand like, hey, this is what's going on. This is why I'm feeling this way internally, but then also making me pause and actually ask myself, is the way that I'm perceiving this actually accurate? And over the last couple of months, it has definitely been different being cognizant of that when those instances happen 
and having conversations with like a lot of people and a lot of people that are close to me. And it's sort of like relearning a lot of things. And so I'm going through a lot of things and going against myself in many ways to just make myself better as well as those around me better. And I'm finally just feeling like I'm actually doing a lot of things that I should have been doing had I known about all of this a lot sooner all, the, all along. And for that, I mean, I feel like in that way, it, there is a lot of things that make sense because obviously I'm trying to better myself, better the surroundings for those around me, and just better pretty much everything that's going on with me, right? And FlyQuest with the showcasing greatness and the growth and the positivity and everything that comes with that brand, um, I feel like in that regard, it does make sense. I feel like a lot of people... Over the last couple of years, there's lots of different stances on me, whether you see me from clips or you see me from highlights or you actually watch my streams, you watch my YouTube videos, etc. Everyone's going to have different experiences and people can form opinions in different ways. I think the last few years especially have been very stressful with the extremely long hours basically being worked every single month living in multiple time zones in order to hit all the content schedules, having to basically do so many things that I was never used to really doing and pushing myself past the point of burnout. It wasn't until the last few months that I made a conscious effort to try to develop structures and put them in place in order to prevent that from happening, as well as just making it so that my content could sort of be almost morphed in some ways, which in its own way is also causing some interesting new feelings for me, I guess. I think the main thing that I would say for people who might not have been keeping up with anything or you only see highlights of me or you only see clips or you only see like certain quote retweets or retweets or whatever it is uh, about me, I feel like there's so many things that I feel like are personally different and are going to keep being improved upon over the last couple of few months. And I feel really good and confident about it going forward as well, that things are just going to get progressively better and things are just going to be a lot more stable. And with the conscious efforts that I'm making to be cognizant of my own behavior and sort of catch myself in these patterns where I can't make sense of certain things or the way that I respond to certain stimuli uh, or you know situations that I find myself in, I just feel a lot better with myself and my emotions and obviously going forward, what that ends up meaning for me and the ability to make certain co pieces of content. Now, obviously, that brings us to what can people expect with the partnership for FlyQuest. And obviously, my voice is not changing. So if FlyQuest are still going to draft like complete sinners, they will be flamed. They will end up in Draft Kingdom videos. So in that regard, don't expect me to you know, be pulling any punches or anything like that when it comes to FlyQuest criticism or anything like that of their LCS gameplay or international gameplay because you know they are going to MSI. And uh, then they will be at Worlds later on this year. But, yeah, I mean, nothing nothing in that regard is going to be changing. I think the last couple of weeks, especially, anyone who has been watching my stream or watching my videos or something, I've almost turned into just pure analytical commentary mode for the most part. And, I mean, that's a, that's a new spin on things that I, I feel like I haven't done since the very early days. I think the last two years of co-streaming were more focused on just being more so casual and like watch party-esque. And I feel like the last couple of weeks, months, whatever we want to call it, are, are definitely much more purely focused on just the gameplay. Sometimes I will have like that watch party theme thing, but in that regard, things aren't changing. In regards to Korea, some people do know that I am eligible for permanent residency later on this year. And so this means that I have to end up passing a Korean exam. So I am going to be staying in Korea. I am going to be preparing for that Korean exam. And hopefully that is going to go well. But this doesn't mean that I will not be traveling around. I will end up making appearances in other places, which I cannot talk about right now. And that is going to be very fun, being able to show up and travel. I was not able to travel at all last year, so I am excited about that. One of the potential content pieces, which I am very excited about, is possibly getting woman involved. Yes, the matriarch, indeed. And hopefully that'll be actually very fun. You guys know that she sometimes joins the co-streams for LCS. You know, she has her words, curses a couple of teams, not a big deal. She's lucky I have her on. 
But for the most part, uh, I am excited that, you know, maybe she's going to be able to join in on some content. She almost actually leaked the FlyQuest thing, if anyone remembers, last week. She said that she ended up getting a jersey and that it was green. Fortunately, she didn't say the team name, but it's okay. FlyQuest, uh, very nice, sent woman a jersey as well. You can also expect to see me across a lot more of FlyQuest socials and doing different types of content stuff with them, and so I am very excited about that. There's also going to be different types of content that I am going to end up making with other top-tier pros in other esports. And uh, if anyone has been watching my streams the last couple of weeks, you can probably guess what one of those esports actually is. Yes, that is Magic the Gathering. So I'm excited for that as well. Also, last but not least, is the patch rundowns. Uh, going forward, they will all go on to the FlyQuest YouTube channel. This isn't different than something that, you know, I did a couple of years ago where the patch rundowns did go to another YouTube channel. And so you can find all of them there at FlyQuest LOL on YouTube. And just remember to follow FlyQuest and me on Twitter and YouTube and everywhere else that you want to follow along. And I think that pretty much wraps up everything. And I'm looking forward to all the co-streams and everything else. And I'm looking forward to meeting people at some of the events because that is actually one of my favorite parts of, I, you know, real life stuff. And... <laughs> Sounds weird to say real life like that, but it, I mean, it's true. One more thing before I completely forget, hopefully by summer, there's also going to be an LS version of the FlyQuest jersey. And so we're going to be making that and I'm going to be extremely excited to end up showing that. It's been a really long time since I've been able to make a jersey with the team that I'm a part of. And I really hope that people will enjoy the aesthetic and the jersey that I end up designing. Anyways, thank you guys all so much for watching, and I hope that going forward we can just continue to get better and better with things. See you later.